Hello to all. This video will we proceed with topic 10 application of differentiation. For the first subtopic 10.1, we will learn about extremum problem. For starter, we will learn on how to find the critical point and stationary point. A critical point for fx is any value of x. In order to find critical point, we have to consider two cases. The first one is when our f prime equal to 0. And second cases is when our f prime is undefined. There are three main terms that you must understand. First, when they ask for a critical point, it refers to value of x. When they ask about critical number, it still refers to the value of x. But if the question asks for a critical value, it refers to value of y. Next, a stationary point. A stationary point is the point where the tangent to the curve is horizontal. In other words, when your dy dx or your f prime equal to 0. For stationary point, we also have three main terms. First one, when it comes to stationary point, it refers to the value of x. When it comes to stationary number, it still refers to value of x. But when it comes to stationary value, it refers to the value of y. If the question stated coordinate of stationary point or coordinate of station, uh, critical point, it refers to the value of x and y in the form of coordinate. Let's do some question. Example 1, we have to find the stationary point for part A, y equal to negative 6x squared plus 17x minus 5. So, in order to find stationary point, we have to differentiate this equation first. So, if we differentiate y, we're going to get dy over dx equal to Derivative of negative 6x squared would be negative 12x plus with, if we differentiate 17x, we're going to get 17. And if we differentiate 5, we're going to get 0. So, from previous notes, we already know that in order to find stationary point, It means that your tangent is horizontal or our dy dx will be equal to 0. So now you just have to equate your dy dx equal to 0. That's why we get negative 12x plus 17 equal to 0. Solving this, we're going to get our x is basically 17 over 12. From here, we can conclude that stationary point for our function y equal to negative 6x squared plus 17x minus 5 is basically x equal to 17 over 12. Part B, our function is y equal to set 2x minus 8. Same as before, for first step, we have to differentiate this equation. So our dy over dx be equal to, bear in mind when we have set, it's basically to the power of half. For these cases, we have to use the power rule. So bring our power to the front, half. 2x minus 8 to the power of negative half and don't forget to differentiate what's inside the bracket. That's how we get 2. So simplify this, we're going to get 1 over set of 2x minus 8. Now, to find our stationary point as before, we have to equate our dy dx equal to 0. In this case, we have to equate 1 over set 2x minus 8 equal to 0. 
try to solve this, we will know that basically in this situation, our x would be undefined. So, from here, we can conclude that basically for our function y equal to 2x minus 8 has no stationary point. Don't be surprised, it is possible to have no stationary point for a certain function. Now we proceed with example 2, find the critical points. For our first function, we have y equal to 2x times with 3x minus 4. In order to differentiate this, we already know that if we have a multiplication of two different functions, then we have to use product rule. So, I will let my u in this case as set to x means that our u prime would be half times with 2x to the power of negative half times with 2. Simplify this, we will know that basically our u prime would be 1 over set to x. Now, our v would be 3x minus 4 means that automatically v prime would be 3. So, using the formula of product rule which is u v prime plus v u prime, our dy dx now will be equal to um, 3 times with set to x plus with 3x minus 4 divided by set to x. Since we know we have to settle this equation after this in order to find the critical point, let's um, simplify our dy dx more. So first step, I will equate the denominator. So we're going to get 3 times with 2x plus with 3x minus 4 divided by 2x. And finally, our dy dx is basically equal to 9x minus 4 divided by set to x. Okay, now we can find our critical points. So, for critical points, basically, based on the definition, we have to consider two cases. So, for our first case, we have to consider our dy dx equal to 0. Means that we have to equate 9x minus 4 divided by set to x equal to 0. Simplify this equation, we will get our x in this case would be equal to 4 over 9. Now, proceed with the second case. Second case for critical point is when our dy dx is undefined. So now, we take a look at our dy dx. In order to make this equation undefined, is whenever we have our denominator part equal to 0. So, from here, I just equate our denominator, which is set of 2x equal to 0, where we're going to get our x equal to 0. So, based on this result, we can conclude that critical point are basically x equal to 4 over 9 and x equal to 0. Let's practice once again. So part B, we have y equal to set of negative 12 plus 5x squared. So first step as usual we have to differentiate this once again bear in mind that whenever we have said it means it is to the power of half in order to differentiate this we have to use power rule so bring your power to the front everything inside the bracket you just have to copy it back all power would be minus one and don't forget to differentiate what's inside the bracket so, from here, we can simplify our equation and we're going to get 5 divided by set of negative 12 plus 5x squared. Sorry, I'm missing an one info, 5x. 
Okay, now we can find our critical points. Same as before, for critical points, basically we have two main cases. So for our first case, we have to let our dy dx equal to 0. Now, if we let 5x divided by set of negative 12 plus 5x squared equal to 0 and simplify this equation, we will get x equal to 0 as our result. Now, if we try to substitute back our x into our original function, we will get set of negative 12 plus 0 resulting an undefined value of y. Means that now we have to reject this answer as x will get an undefined value for y coordinate. Means that this coordinate basically does not exist. Now, we consider our second case. So, for second case, we have to consider when our dy dx is undefined. Once again, because our dy dx is in the form of fraction, we will have an undefined situation whenever our denominator part is equal to 0. So, you just have to equate the denominator part, which in this case is set of negative 12 plus 5x squared equal to 0. So, Settling this down, we will get 5x squared equal to 12. And finally, our x is basically plus minus set of 12 over 5. If we try to substitute this value into y function, we will get a value of y. Means that we accept this x value. So, as a conclusion, we can conclude that x equal to set of 12 over 5 and x equal to negative of 12 over 5 are the critical points.